And speaking of getting these people like non-endemic people like outside of gaming, you know, on board with gaming, um, and one of the uh, I don't know, I, entities, I guess, that have been looking into gaming is actually like the U.S. military. Yeah. And so that has been um, definitely interesting seeing unfold, like uh, to me, a bit alarming. Like I remember maybe this was like a month ago, or a couple months ago, like the U.S. Army made a twit or a Twitter and a Twitch for that matter. Yep. But, yeah. but they made like a Twitter for their gaming and they would like tweet things like, Uwu, and it was like an esports thing. Yeah, it was like an esports thing. And I don't know if that that Twitter page is still up, but it was like really bizarre. Just like seeing, yeah, the U.S. military just tweet things to other people, like Uwu or this is epic, or you know, just like with these these gaming terms. The army, like yeah, (laughs) yeah, you. (laughs) 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 Um, So GameSpot, which is like a. like a like a gaming informational website, kind of like Squad State, but Squad State is a lot better, of course. Um, they when when GamesCon was going on, they actually kind of launched like a little segment where they had like a a sar- like a sergeant come in and and review the games that were that were being showed, and oh. I, and I think along with like some other tweets, um, just in like in partnership with the u.s military but it, it but people like kind of question it because it's like is like you know why are we targeting these young children right like to like they're they're primarily targeting like 13 year olds to yep. try to enlist mm-hmm. and they even um i think on the the their twitch page they even had like fake giveaways where they would post um, links saying like, oh, you could win a Xbox controller, but it would actually lead you to um, a recruitment like sign up sheet. Yep. Which is just, it, you know, obviously kind of dark. Extremely, yes. It's like really so- dark. It's very misleading. Like I think it also went against um, like Twitch policies. Yeah. They went to, yeah. It got taken to the Supreme Court. Um, oh, really? Because it's, yeah. So, and I actually did a little bit of digging on this. What they were doing is actually illegal under like two different um, US jurisdictions. One, you can't market and advertise uh, things towards kids like under 18, like you can't use manipulative marketing. Marketing. Um, that's why candy bars in the US are so different, the rappers, because they weren't allowed to directly advertise to those kids and use kind of like the everyone knows that marketing is manipulative it's just a common fact but especially making video games and war look exactly the same and having a video game scene then blend into an army ad that's that's very misleading and i think that they're giving a very bad especially with everything going on right now they're giving a very bad message as to what they're trying to do. And it, and like you said, it's weird. Why like why are they streaming video games and have an esports? Why are team they saying and, ooh, ooh? Yeah, why are they saying <laughs> ooh, ooh? Okay, like I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I don't think I necessarily I don't Them saying ooh, ooh? <laughs> <laughs> Are you defending the ooh? Um, the ooh, ooh. But but okay, <laughs> look at the generate like marketing for military has always been there. Um that's nothing new, right? Like since way back in the day, World War One, like they've always yep. marketed to young people trying to recruit them into the army. Um, so is it weird that the army now with a population of young adults, because um, it's not kids now, we're, we're past that generation, young adults grew up on gaming. Is it weird for the military to be tweeting out things to relate to people who they're trying to recruit? changing how we look at the military i don't necessarily think so i do think it's wrong to market something as a giveaway and then lead to a recruitment page where it has nothing to do with that giveaway um because that's complete like there you're lying like that has nothing to do it's just deceptive it's It's very deceptive it's it's weird it's clearly super shady and 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 kind of scummy exactly uh, I, I yeah. kind of see but what then, you're but then, but then It's a weird now because military and sports, there's always been a partnership there in the yeah. U.S., right? Mm-hmm. I think so you know, now, had some ads. Military going into the gaming round 
is this just a result of the generation getting older or, you know, is this, is this something that shouldn't happen? I, I don't know because I, I could see it both ways. Right. Yeah, I think, but there are also, when you look at gaming and like professional sports, because they do have their sports teams, even like their college teams, there's yeah. yeah. still an age there. There's still an age limit. They're yeah. 18. They're at least 18. Yeah. And gaming, they have a chance to subliminally normalize war yeah. and advertise to younger minds. And I think I that's think a very that's dangerous the thing. thing for sports as well. I have so many young cousins that watch sports all the time um, when big games are happening. And but is, is the advertising there as in your face as it is currently in gaming and in esports? Like, I, I don't know if there are necessarily. Yes. If you're is watching it? in the state commercials, yes. Because, and even on, if you're at a game in, in like, I've been to a Bostick Celtics game multiple times and you go there and like every quarter you'll see like, oh, you know, let's give a shout out to, um, or let's um, thank all of our veterans, right? Like you have mm -hmm. those associations that it may not be as in your face as the marketing that's happening here. And I'm not saying I agree with that marketing. All I'm okay. saying is I think we are it's getting existed. at a point where it's going to start narrowing that gap and yes. we will see it being marketed. Now it is up to the decision for the courts and people in those communities to set a standard for what that looks like, because yes, this is more easily accessible for young kids. So, yeah. so now it's like, what are those guidelines? What is it that they must follow? And I think this now opens up that conversation for what that will look like in the future. I think the problem in, in regards to the way that it's happening on Twitch or in, in esports and the integration there is that mm -hmm. there are links there. There's a one button click to head to where you need to go if you wanted to sign up for the military. That that deceptiveness through the giveaways and stuff like that, yeah. that's stuff that you can't get from a commercial on TV. When you see a commercial on TV, it's then up to you. Like, yes, mm -hmm. clearly the point of the marketing is they're trying to like reel you in. But it, I feel like it's a lot more difficult there rather than pressing a button with your mouse to go straight to where you need to go, you know? I think the more actionable, it's, it's less actionable um, when you're watching on TV because you can't necessarily right. click on the TV to open up the website, the recruitment the, exactly. website. Exactly, yeah. yeah. However, commercials, how they market commercials, how they create these commercials are For to sure. appeal to a certain audience. So if you 100%. have kids, whether it's on and they're looking at, you know, maybe there's a Twitch star that served in the army and maybe they partner with that Twitch star. If that commercial is on um, TV or on Twitch, it would still appeal to that younger audience, right? So, yeah. so it's now it's the conversation of how are you controlling the actionable? Like if the, the military is able to um, make an advertisement for recruitment on Twitch, then they, I don't necessarily know if they should be allowed to have it where you're able to action that recruitment right on that page or that mm -hmm. link, right? right. Um, those are like the fine things I think that now these conversations have to revolve around. Yep. Yeah. Well, I, I think the thing with why it is just like feels so scummy right now is because it's just straight up, like, like we were saying, just straight up very manipulative. Um, yep. like, mm -hmm. like with GameSpot specifically, uh, the reason like they deleted their tweets because people were just like, you are just clearly trying to make it seem cool. And like, hit. I mean, I, right. so when I say it out loud, like I know that's kind of like the point of marketing, but it's still yeah. just like, really, there's just but something. The just army. Like well, but yeah, there's two, <laughs> there's two big things there is that they're not selling a product. That's the biggest thing for me. They're not selling a product or advertising anything of like, materialistic and then two there's I, this sounds really dumb saying it out loud but advertising for the military shouldn't be allowed in shooter games or games that depict violence because yeah, actually, with the difference that. from football advertising and then a shooter is if a call of duty tournament they're watching you know simp or whoever yeah. like shoot up everybody and then it's an army ad and it's the same exact thing they're mm. making that connection it's glorifying right. war pretty much yeah. what it, it's like it's the argument that people you know that adults made against call of games like call of duty that try yes. to get a ban from walmart how it's a glorified 
justification of war. This is outright glorifying war. <laughs> yeah, um, well, exactly. This is trying to make it seem like they are one and the same. This is trying to make where where the argument against people who are trying to ban Call of Duty is that clearly a game like Call of Duty is not trying to tell you this is what it's like. It's trying to just give you like the heightened reality of like, listen, it's all fun. Like, yeah, we're trying to give you the serious tone or trying to make it feel realistic, realistic. But at the same time, like, you know, okay. Captain Price isn't real. This dude, yeah. all the crap that he's done, nobody's actually surviving that. Let's get real about that, yeah. you know? But when you <laughs> advertise the army in these games or you try to make that 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 connection, then when somebody sees a Call of Duty commercial, they start to believe like, oh, is that what it's real like? Is you tell me yeah. I could I could jump into a battlefield and start uh, 360 <laughs> no scope YYing people? Like, is that, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's like... I love gamers, because like the argument against people who believed you know call of duty was glorifying war is like we're not stupid like gamers aren't stupid although there are young right. kids that need to be educated and their parents need to educate and the people around them need to educate um that this is these are just video games for entertainment as watching a movie is just for entertainment that's that's not exactly a real depiction of what these events are mm -hmm. um and that would be like going into a movie and then you're finished watching like inglorious bastards and then you have to re sign up, you know, to be in the army. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they have a recruiter yeah. just standing outside. Right? Like, yeah, exactly. Like that, that's very weird. And you know, will we see these these you know games now? Say, okay, you can like Activision say you cannot recruit while playing Call of Duty. Like the military cannot use Call of Duty as a recruitment tool. Um, it should. However, right? Mm -hmm. These. And like, I'm just playing devil's advocate because like, I, I don't, I feel like it's, it's a really touchy subject. You have to understand that very there delicate. are lots of kids. It's very delicate. So there has to be something to control it. However, I, when you look at the history of the military and how they advertise, I could understand why they're trying to advertise to gaming. I don't necessarily know if that's right, but I understand why um, you see people like you see soldiers in the army, they have their esports teams, mm -hmm. right? They yep. have a league in the army and they do play Call of Duty. Yep, right. So now it, it complicates things because then it's like, well, this is a representation. They could make the argument that this is a representation of some of their things that they like to do on their spare time. They know For that sure. this is a real depiction of war, but it's just showing more of the community aspect of being in the military. Um, so like it just complicates things and I, yeah. I don't necessarily know how it will move forward in the future, but I do know something has to happen to help create guidelines to protect young children. The, yeah. the onus isn't entirely on like there's definitely there's a lot of or, or lack thereof uh, responsibility um, in terms of like the army in actually pr like trying to market through these avenues, but the onus isn't entirely on them. It should be. And luckily you know, we've seen Twitch step up and try and like, you know, put their foot down about this. But mm -hmm. we need we need like corporations like Twitch or Activision to be like, hey, you can't do this. You know, mm -hmm. like, right. the, 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 like this is not this is not the avenue for that. This is not the place yeah. to do that. Uh, it sends the wrong message and it deceives people. And luckily, like like I said, Twitch did step up and do that. Um, but you're right. You know, like you look at someone like Activision who kind of just allows it to happen for their games and they could very much condemn it, but because yeah. there's probably a good amount of money involved, they don't. And so yeah. I don't know, again, just like you said, Camille, it, it, this is a very delicate, uh, topic. This is not something that I want to like, I don't want to say like, this is the way that it is and I'm correct <laughs> and every other opinion is wrong because, I still would need to do a little more research of my own on this topic before I could provide that kind of opinion. Um, but I know that at surface level, it looks wrong. It feels wrong. So there needs to be some form of a change. I think there was also, sorry, there's also like um, another instance where uh, I believe like the, the U S army Twitch page and Twitter page were kind of saying like, Oh, these Twitch streamers, you know, they just kind of stare at a blank screen all day if you join the army, you could do the same thing. Like something along those lines, I'm paraphrasing for the most part. Yeah. But like to say something like that, where they're literally saying like, oh, if you join us, you'll be able to stream. Cause that's, cause they also do get some of their, the people like in the military to stream and like yeah. kind of send that yeah. message as well. Um, and then like, 
like I say, like on one hand, I, I, I see what you're saying, Camille, where like they're just playing the marketing game. And yeah. it is, it is, it feels like you obviously should have a line there. But yes. then I guess if we're being like fair, I, I don't know, it's definitely, it's definitely a, a really weird issue. Thought. Then yeah. I think like face value looking at this issue, you would think, yeah, it's completely wrong. Um, all parts of it, like they shouldn't be advertising at all. Um, but I think it's a much more complicated issue than just that. Because like you could, like I've never been in the military. I don't know too many people um, that have been in, in the military. So I don't know that perspective. Um, I just know from the few people I do know, they talk about the idea of a community, a, a, you know, a brotherhood. Um, yeah. So then should the military just not be on Twitch? But then is that a violation of like, like, that kind of hurts them if they're trying to show this brotherhood or community. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just right, so complicated right. that like, yeah. it really, you have to have really good discussions. The leaders in gaming on Twitch, um, in advertising the government, they all need to kind of talk about how we're handling this because yeah, like a lot of young kids could be affected or are being affected. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, Malik, sorry, you were talking about, you said the one like law that was being broken. What was the other one? Um, so it's actually I pulled it up. Oh, nice. Got my it's research. Prepared. Uh, it <laughs> is... So it's the the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Um, and Kappa. that yeah, Kappa. <laughs> it uh, is a law that prohibits unfair or deceptive acts or practices in connection with the collection, use, and disclosure of per personal information from and about children on the internet. Yep. So that, I mean, how would you guys, and to play devil's advocate, how would you guys feel about the esports uh, or the army having esports and the National Guard if they were honest about what they were doing? Do you think that we wouldn't even be having this conversation if they wouldn't have done the giveaways? Or do you think that this was going to have to have been a conversation no matter what? I think there's certainly still a conversation here because of some of the things that have gone on, um, whether in the army or the National Guard, but that, that's... Right. Again, <laughs> I, I don't have enough knowledge of the situation to provide an opinion. I just know the, the opinions that I see. Right. Um, so I think there's still a conversation there. I don't think the conversation is as intense to mm -hmm. the opposition had there not been the giveaways, had there not been right. the deception of trying right. to recruit right. people. I, I completely um, agree with you. But, yeah. but yeah, but there would still be people like, what, what the hell? What is this? What's going on? You know? Yeah, yeah. I feel like this would have it's inevitable especially as i mentioned before like um military has been recruiting forever and changed their recruiting game and their tactics according to the generation we're in a generation of gamers so yeah. yes the conversation had to have happened eventually um mm -hmm. like you said like i don't think it would have been as um harsh for people on the other side to understand the maybe intentions um or question you know if you didn't want anyone questioning the intentions of the military, um, if these giveaways weren't here in the first place and the conversation was happening beforehand, it might have made that these conversations a bit easier to be had. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I mean, it's definitely an interesting topic. 100%. Yeah. It's, it's one of those where it's sensitive no matter what side you're on because there's obviously money and then there's you know the innocent minds as you know the lobbyists like to say but it is it is that true fact of you do have to while children aren't as malleable through video games as people think there mm -hmm. is still a consideration that needs to be made when right. you are placing advertisements for real world military where you don't get a respawn like that's it um and you can't project that to game or to kids that it's all a game that you can come sit behind a screen and do the same thing because yeah. i have a friend who is part of the army and he likes it but he is aware of the practices yeah. that they use that are a little bit deceptive but he's a fully aware adult you know he is yeah. aware of the choices that he makes and there is the there is the exception that people can't sign up for the military unless they're 18 
but you could be possibly grooming them to be ready for the military yeah. years before they're mentally ready for that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it would be interesting to hear um, a perspective of someone who's either in the military or has been in the military, because I wonder if, you know, yeah. like you mentioned with your friend who is kind of aware of some of the issues that are already are existing in the military, if they feel like this could actually help those issues come out um, and focus more of the community side of the military and change how people in general look at the military. So it's not necessarily looking at, you know, the military occupying the gaming space as just a marketing ploy, but as a community growing the community, if that mean makes any right. sense. Like an activity sense. that they all enjoy yeah. doing together. Yeah. 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 It, it's definitely an interesting one. And I feel like, you know, we're until we have someone who's a part <laughs> of both parties, we really can't, have the final say in this so this discussion is going to yeah. keep going right? um yeah. but that that's it for today guys that's that's how it goes that's all the topics <laughs> talk about today. it's been great chat for you guys to sound off and let your voice be heard everyone here um caboose what do you have coming up for you this week uh yeah so i got a big mortal Kombat tournament that i'm hosting with my buddy destroyer we already went through week one of it uh, this Wednesday will be the this Wednesday. I can speak. Trust me. Uh, will be the uh, pool play, and then Friday will be the top eight. I don't know if anybody saw the clip that I posted on my Twitter at Kabuki K, but oh my goodness, it's uh, it's pretty insane. There's gonna be some insane competition. It's like eight weeks of competition that lead up to a finale, nice. uh, like later this year. So it'll be a lot of fun. But I'm also streaming a ton of Avengers. You know, I streamed a bunch of Endgame content yesterday. I'm still leveling up my Captain America. Gonna level up some Thor tonight. So you can check me out, twitch.tv slash caboose, youtube.com slash caboose, Twitter, Instagram, at caboose EK. All right, and then Malik, what do we got? What, any uh, new articles you're working on right now for the website? Um, I am working on one right now. Um, I'm working on one about Spirit Fair um, and kind of about Ooh. platformers. Um, oh. just trying to finish that up. And I just did one about Call of Duty's marketing practices, actually, oh, oddly wow. enough. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of talking about uh, how they use Stockholm Syndrome to their advantage. Oh, sweet. Um, and then I just I did another one. one. Sounds really interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's they they kind of have this three year cycle and fans, you know, get let down and it doesn't matter if the next one is good or bad. They're going to profit from it either way. <laughs> I but, definitely Stockholm profit Syndrome. from it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, just on Twitter, Instagram, uh, at Malik Show. All right. And then Alex, what do you got this week? Yeah, just, you know, the usual. I, I'm actually attempting to do daily streams. Um, I haven't been nice. like doing nice. that great so far, but every okay. day is a is a new try. <laughs> so I, I, yes, exactly. So I, I do that twitch.tv slash radpuppy. It's also September, by the way, for all of us Twitch streamers. I think you said that. I think it means like 30% <laughs> off, um, yeah. like 30% off new subs or something like that. Yeah. I don't even, I should know, but I don't know. <laughs> something like that. Just sub, just sub to us guys. <laughs> and and um, shout outs to you, by the way, for telling us every day on your Twitter that it's going to be okay. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so kind. Yeah. So I love that. <laughs> yeah. I truly believe it. And I, I think people are scared sometimes. I think it's a nice message. <laughs> it is. It is a good message. Sometimes like I'll be like, Waking up and I'm like, oh, it's gloomy outside. I look on Twitter and I see your message. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's actually going to be okay. <laughs> um, so then for me, I'm probably, well, I'm streaming tomorrow um, and Tuesday here, or wait, tomorrow and Wednesday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Tomorrow and Wednesday here from 12 to 4 p.m. Eastern. I'm probably going to stream some Mario tomorrow. Maybe uh, Ooh, Mario the Lost nice. Levels go a little retro with it. We'll see. Um, but other than that, I'm also creating content on my YouTube channel and on Twitch. I stream as well. Uh, you can find them all at this is Camco on my Twitter, everything, all that great stuff. And of course you get to find squad at squad state on Twitter and Instagram and squadstate.com to check out really cool articles like Malik's that he's working on uh, right now. So got to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching chat. I, I see your love. So make sure that you sub, as you know, it is September. So mm, yeah. get more content from us, uh, you help us out and you know, we give, we give a lot more. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing all of you next time, Monday. Uh, we will see you here.
Bye, guys. <laughs>